Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to free um, uh, space from your hard disk, especially SSD. I've already covered this topic some time ago, but of course time is changing, there are new possibilities, Windows is updating and especially it's because I've bought this new Dell gaming laptop. It's not a super gaming thing, but it's a, a thing it's really decent value. I've been looking for something which is really powerful as a desktop replacement. And yeah, the thing is, this uh, was actually the best value which I was able to find. I liked actually to have everything uh, on an SSD, but it was not possible. So this was a good uh, trade-off for me. Uh, but it's the thing is really it has only uh, 128 gigabytes SSD uh, drive, and so that's a little bit a problem. So I don't really recommend buying this. Uh, configuration um, yeah for for anybody like an uh, unexperienced user if you're an experienced user you can go ahead no problem you can configure and do and everything you won't have problems if you are just like um, yeah rather uh, unexperienced user so you shouldn't buy a computer with only 128 gigabyte of SSD because um, when, he, when he arrives at your location probably half of it will be full with Windows and other things bloatware and so on and a couple of updates later Chrome office and so on and it will be full by 80% and then yeah it could be a struggle soon so yeah, so I've uh, bought this. I'm really happy with it. But now, I yeah, it arrived with already 60 or 70 gigabytes full. So what um, have I done? So the thing is, um, there are so uh, really a lot of options. Uh, first thing, you go to the desktop. And then, uh, yeah, you go to your PC, C drive, and then you can see a lot of times you can find on the C drive, which is then your SSD. Here, in my case, it's not my SSD, uh, but doesn't matter. Um, you, you will find Windows, Windows Update, of course, not much space. This one you need. And there's usually a windows.old. So I have already what I have done. Sometimes I went here, just marked it and pressed the delete button and it was gone. So some people say you shouldn't do that. Uh, I did it. I had no problems at all. So uh, but next time, I mean last time, I went uh, and down downloaded uh, the CC cleaner, which you can find everywhere or other cleaners. Uh, uh, if you want to have the download link, I think this is the right one, www.ccleaner.com. Okay, I think this is the right one but make sure that you don't download don't download uh Trojan horse or something like this there's a free version and a pro version and uh, when you go to system clean then it will show you the windows old unfortunately i have removed uh this software um but it it will clean yeah you can clean the, the windows old that's already a good thing what you can do as well you can go to the that's let's say uh, that's the um, yeah your SSD right click on that properties and then there's a what <laughs> properties and there's a disk cleanup thing okay you can click on that and it will uh, calculate and find some things. Unfortunately, there are not many options. You can't p 
put uh, like order it by space or something like this but here you see there's just a few megabytes not much so but if you want to remove that mostly it these are safe things to remove uh, but um, yeah anyway so there was not so much here what you can also do you can go to clean up system files so that's the next step so hopefully it will come up with this I don't know what he's doing now okay it takes a little bit of time okay I pause this for a second okay it looks it's proceeding now oh it has <laughs> stopped again it was really fast so from here to here and now it stopped now it continues so here I think we have the system things so we have a windows update cleanup three gigabytes so that's really a lot okay other, the other things are just a few megabytes but this is a uh, three gigabytes so that's a lot for an ssd to waste you want to you, you don't want to waste that okay you can just click on that and okay and then it will remove that you can also of course uh, there are programs and features which you can clean i've never done this uh, you here you just go to the normal uninstall thing but no it's not normal thing it looks a little bit different i don't know why they have made a different view yeah you can order it based on size but on the other on the normal system thing you can do that as well okay you can also um clean system uh restore um safe so but i it's not a lot of space and it's not worth it so when you have trouble you can't set it back to an old uh, version okay what can we do as well we can go to programs of course so when uh, like a program uh, like a new computer comes with some pre-installed software or you have started installing software and then notice oh my ssd is not so large I should save money you can of course uninstall everything and reinstall uh, uh, uninstall from C drive and then install on the D drive D drive yeah which uh, I assume will be a normal hard disk like one terabyte or something like this so uh, yeah what you can do you go to system then apps and I have just found this recently you have here you have the installed programs you can sort these by name size install date you will find install date is always a good thing so you will see if uh, microsoft or anybody else tries to install uh, something which you don't want like this one hidden city i've never clicked on this to install there was another program maybe you can see i've installed sandboxy uh free version and right after that or yeah short time after that it installed this one maybe there was something like um, adware or something which then triggered installation of this one i don't know what you, so you have basically two options if you don't need that it's like here in this case you can easily uninstall if you need that like office or yeah let's say more like adobe acrobat you will need that but you don't need that on c drive um let's yeah that was a, a, a not such a good uh sample let's say i don't know why we can't choose move 
yeah usually um, i don't know why, why why at this moment yeah i i can't move but i've seen this with many programs uh the move button was activated and yeah, you can click on that and say hey move it from c drive to d drive but i can't i have no idea what ah, here in this case you see so you can say oh, okay uh, move it to d and then click on move and then it will move it um, so you will save space on c drive without installation it does will just move it that's really good and such crap you don't need you just say uninstall and they are gone but maybe if you really have adware it will come back so always check based on install date that's good because yeah um i mean when you get rid of old things then after some time if you check like on a weekly base the new new things will always be on top here when you uh, sort it by install date so that's also one thing you have there's also other stuff there's a lot of other stuff which, which which we have i'm not covering everything but i have been looking on websites to find a list which covers everything and i i haven't been able to find it it, it, it was really amazing or surprising why i couldn't find a really com comprehensive list so i'm tr just trying to cover as much as i can so what we have is also this setting and we go to system again and we go to storage and here we have the uh, drives here we have c drive and d drive and let's uh, yeah, again assume c drive is ssd d drive is uh, your uh, physical hard drive which is usually the case so here we have um yeah here here we have a button uh ch change where new content is saved this is really important i haven't seen that uh i i, I just uh or uh overlooked that for a long time so here you can just say uh to put everything new apps by default to d and then put uh push uh, apply also new documents d then apply new music music and everything maps movies photos you can do this with everything and so it won't move things immediately but it will uh from now on it will try to save things then on d drive which is really a good thing so what you also have usually you have here downloads documents and those things so like say download we, we make right click on that go to properties uh, location and here we have c drive so okay we can just change this to d and say apply so i don't do that but if you say apply it will say okay um you want to move a, you, uh, everything from the c downloads to d downloads and then you can say yes and then it will move everything there and from now on everything will be stored there same usually with documents pictures music but actually i think with the other settings we did before it should be good already for pictures music videos i'm not 100 percent sure but you can uh, double check with right click and properties and um location and if it's not already on c make it a d uh, <laughs> make it a d like yeah d double point and then apply of course i don't do that here as well there could be some things which are already located on yeah one drive so one drive is usually um I had I, at least on my computer it was uh, on C drive 
for whatever reason it was on C drive so you can go to here we have OneDrive and you can I don't click uh, here so but you can or yeah just maybe I can do that can I open that probably it doesn't open anyway um, hmm. I think I have an old version I have an old version for some reason yeah uh, no okay so I think it works like this you can double click then you go here and then settings with a new version it looks a little bit different but anyway you can go to settings and then you can unlink this uh, PC and then you can do whatever you want with your OneDrive move it to the D drive or yeah anyway yeah the problem is also when there are like documents music or be, uh, below OneDrive and OneDrive is assigned to C you can't move like when, when you go here to documents and say properties and say um, yeah not here of course be here we can do that properties and we say location and we want to change it to D then uh, it probably will uh, tell you you can't do that and uh, it, it will throw up an error but uh, the problem is it won't say it won't tell you why exactly but uh, it's probably because it, it's in the OneDrive and OneDrive is assigned to, to C Drive so just go to the OneDrive here double click go to settings as I already did and here unlink this PC and then you can do whatever you want with your OneDrive move it to D uh, with everything and then start OneDrive again and then it will ask for you uh, for your credentials and then you have to be really careful read carefully every page uh, which is being shown by the OneDrive and there's a small thing like really similar now I call it for a third time um, really similar to this thing where it says change pass or yeah I think it was change pass so watch just don't don't click uh, every uh, like on all the screens like okay 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 w read all the pages when you set up the OneDrive again when you reconnect and set it up check all the pages where it says um, change uh, location or change pass or or something like that and you change it to D and then you continue and then everything will be on the D drive that's really important also when you have Google Drive the best is when you do Google Drive you set it up and read every page really carefully in the setup of Google and there's also a pass where you can change maybe that's advanced settings just read every page carefully and then you can assign Google to another location then C you can change it to D also you can specify a specific location for that so that's really good and if you have already installed by accident the Google Drive you can do the same thing you go to settings and unlink the computer and then you can move everything to D and then you can connect the computer again with the Google Drive and tell him where your documents are so this will work for OneDrive for Microsoft and the Google Drive as well so another option is the battery option which a lot of people don't know that this has an F effect on the space which is required so we click on the battery sign here battery settings 
sometimes they look a little bit different sometimes like if you have a Dell or so they they modify this thing a little bit but usually there's an advanced setting so I always have to change this I have to find these things as well so hold on a second battery battery really struggling now to find that so maybe I have to start different I click uh, make a right click on that and go to power options and so here we have um, yeah change plan settings and then advanced power settings yeah now here here it is so one of these things are uh, here we should have hibernate sometimes it's in the root menu and sometimes it's hidden in the sleep menu there's a hibernate hibernate never okay so if we have sometimes we have something like here 80 80 minutes so when you go come in like this okay come here you have something like this but then you think okay how I'm gonna change that to never there's no option for never except at the very, very if you go very very down I mean at the bottom there is but at the bottom here yeah, then there's uh, never okay but you can also set it to zero and then it changes to never as far as I know oops let's check if it's it's um, hibernate yeah hibernate yeah never so as soon as this is never never then it should actually free some space on your C drive <coughs> which is used for to store the memory in on your hard drive let's say you have 16 gigabytes of RAM then it will allocate usually 16 gigabyte on your SSD if you have hibernate on hibernate on if you if you have it off it should go away I think at least after you um, put it uh, after you restart that I mean after you restart the computer of course there's also an other way to get rid of this hibernate thing I've been told I don't know I've never did that so with Windows and R you can hold on or right click on that country ah here yeah right click on yeah right click on the window icon here then you uh, get this Windows PowerShell admin that's not the right thing yeah I was not looking for that or was I looking for that yeah I was I think so now this is the oops that was too much oh my goodness <laughs> sorry for that control uh, so I have copied that um, yeah power config dash H off so let's see okay didn't work maybe it was an old command or it doesn't work with this thing so I mean when I I'm just trying sometimes I'm doing it uh, I mean I was used to use that like press window button uh, type CMD right click on that and run as administrator so that's usually my or was used uh, I mean yeah I was used to use that so okay let's try it here okay here it works so diff different thing so okay yeah if you need that so yeah you better do it like uh, yeah the old way so yeah um, so I do it again press the window um, window key then type CMD 
right click on common prompt run as administrator and then it will open this and then you can type power config dash h off and at least after um and i think now what's that um yeah uh of course you can just click on the x and then close it and after at least at the latest <coughs> Sorry, when you when you restart computer, the Hibernate uh, file uh, should be gone, and you have should have more free space. So I think I have now covered everything. Yeah, it took 25 minutes. Uh, yeah, it took a little bit longer than I expect. Maybe it was a little bit slow, but now I think I have covered everything which I have found so far, and also all the things which I remembered from the past. And usually, it should save you uh, a lot of space and. Um, yeah, prevent that it fills up with other chunks when you have assigned everything on the like downloads, document, pictures, video. You have all your programs uh, as for uh, as much as possible on D drive, and yeah, on every installation you ch uh, change the path to d drive you have to be careful when you download and install something every time go to the advanced settings never just click on install okay 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 always choose the advanced options and then usually you can assign another pass which is d at the beginning instead of C. So you usually should be good for a couple of years at least with your C drive. So I have my computer, another one, not this one, with an, uh, 128 gigabyte uh, SSD. And even after, yeah, it is one, one, one and a half years, maybe something like this. And, and I download a lot really a lot i have so many programs and everything that i did all the updates and i still have about 60 gigabytes left so you can manage you can live with a 128 gigabyte storage but you have to be careful like especially when you use gaming with steam and so also there you can configure that all the games will be installed on d drive so that's really important just leave only the windows on c drive uh, with all the updates, drivers and everything and put all the programs and data to the drive so you will be happy for many many years and yeah after maybe five or ten years you will need a new PC anyway and those will have only uh, SSDs with minimum 256, uh, 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes or so on ssd so won't be a problem probably then but, but of course co co programs will be bigger so yeah but uh it's it, it's just in this time where, where they're still selling these 128 gigabytes ssd it's just a little bit of pain i don't know why they're selling these they are really uncomfortable not the right stuff for unexperienced people but you can handle that so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that uh, if you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.